Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of PTR4. Um, ending of previous episodes, I was uh, I already started this stage. I rage quitted because I really was uh, yeah too slow, annoying. I want to make progress and. Today I only did like in a full day, a Saturday, only like two or three stages because they were just ridiculously hard. Uh, so I'm quite a bit frustrated, but in between, uh, after my rage quit, I checked out Stripper Gaming or Games Gaming on YouTube. He also did a hardcore platinum playthrough. And um, yeah, it does get, get, always give me a little bit of a boost to see that it is possible. So uh, I will just continue trying away at this one. Uh, it does feel a little bit, I prefer to do it fully blindly on my, by myself, but, but this is, these bikes, I really don't enjoy it that much. It's too frantic, the bike is all over the place. So yeah, I'm sometimes just um, looking up on YouTube how other people uh, did the same event. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so that's it. That's uh, for me a very tricky one. It's it's not that long of a lap, and there are not that many corners. But still, um, I'm one second off the time. Here we go. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's so easy to fuck it up. totally in the wrong you have to have a perfect line you cannot correct your line mid corner on bikes because they are all over the place once you do a slight correction you're like 10 feet sideways where you don't want to be
me two tenths of the time. So it is possible. Two tenths. for sure because I was at I'm three tenths of the pace and I had like seven tenths quicker so I was I had a
fucking god. I can cut it with a knife. 
It's material. I feel it. It's real. It's physical. Fucking Christ, I hate this with such a profound passion. It's just undescribable.
car bike is all fucking swinging over the place. about this one because um, I was just in when I rage quitted since the previous episode um, I actually uh, was watching Stripper gaming how he did that uh, that same uh, course that we just did that uh, hot lab and then I noticed he did it quite quickly he did it in 10 minutes or so or 15 minutes but then I saw he had sections in his YouTube video that I, d I didn't watch it but I did see that the next section was way longer. So he must have had a way harder time with that next one, which is this one. So if he has a hard time, I do think he's a better player than I am. And I will have an extra hard time. But yeah, let's just see. I think it also depends on the bike. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not going to waste my time on the wrong bike. It cost me too much time. Give me a second. I'm just going to see what bike did he use. Because there's a huge difference. There's a Hayabusa bike here. Yeah, he's driving that Hayabusa indeed. Uh, so I am going to change bikes because uh, it, the, the stats in this game, they really don't say that much. This bike is one of the most, uh, has one of the best stats. Um, as you can see here, it's second place. It has the exact same stats as the first place bike. But apparently, Stripper Gaming won it with this bike, which is way lower. But it has one point more in top speeds. That's probably what you need in this one, because there are quite some uh, straight sections. 
sorry, I have two. And yes, it's a little bit cheating. I prefer to figure it out myself, but I just don't have the time, uh, sorry. So uh, otherwise I would have to do like 10, 20 tries on that bike to, and, and really have like a good run. And then I'm actually learning that specific track vehicle combination because that's also braking points can differ per vehicle. And then only to notice like, oh no, this, car, this bike actually has the best stats, except for top speed, maybe one stat less, but it is um, impossible to win. And then I have to start over with, for example, this bike, having to learn the track bike combination all over again. So that would be so much wasted time, uh, actually, so that, um, yeah, I don't mind it's not really cheating in the sense that I have to do it myself anyways, but at least I know that in, in, with this bike it is possible to win it. Here we go. <laughs> section unscathed without breaking too much it's just crazy get through there man this, this bike steers like a boat
so fucking bad. events are unbelievable.
in the holy fucking hell of God am I going to get two seconds? I'm more than two seconds off. I don't know if I can do this uh, anymore. I will do it because I want to just 100% this game as I set out to do. But fuck me, how much time this costs and how much energy and how much frustration is absolutely mental. Seriously, I am again uh, taking a break. I will see how Stribbers did this one. It is that always give me a bit of uh, motivation seeing other people do it. Uh, normally I'm really solistic by the way. I really want to do it myself and blind, but I just have it. I hate these bikes. No, I don't hate them. I actually enjoy them. They're, they're amazing. They're, they're, they have like a cool sound. They're like r rockets on two wheels, but the the um, if and again if i would have limitless time i would enjoy it i would stay i would play it 24 7 until i get it but i don't have limitless time i have really scarce time and then it becomes frustrating really really quickly if you're constantly stuck at these uh, events and again also to say i prefer this over the dumb down games of current day of 2023 Everything is foolproof, lowest common denominator, there's no challenge whatsoever. So if I had to choose, i choose this game, this philosophy of just really hard uh, objectives uh, over the uh, alternative any day. I don't want dumbed down games, but still that doesn't make the frustration any, uh, any less. I do know that with frustration, with investment, also comes a bigger payoff, a bigger sense of accomplishment once you do succeed. But fucking hell, it doesn't mean that, or it doesn't make the frustration any less palpable. It's really existential frustration. Anyways, um, I, uh, I'm going to take a little break. So, hope to see you in the next one. Hope that we will uh, get through it. Um, and for the meantime, do not forget yourself as well. Always do keep on gaming, Slater.